Hello and welcome back to another video. As some of you may have seen, the mini mushroom series is now finished. I thought I would do a long format video and answer some of the questions I've received here on YouTube, on Instagram and on TikTok because there has been a few, quite a lot of duplicates of the same question so there's not many but there are a couple. But firstly I'd like to do a little announcement that the full mini mushroom launch is now live on my website. The, there are prints, washi tapes, enamel pins, bookmarks, um, gift wrap, stationery, cards, stickers, sticker sheets, bundles of everything, that's a really good deal um, and I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that has supported me and helped me through on all the different social media platforms for this launch, I really really appreciate it, you've made everything a reality with this and it is my biggest launch yet um, and I really do appreciate it and as you can see here this is the mini mushroom bundle where you can get everything in this bundle and I'm pretty sure it's worth over £46 and you can get it for £35 and that's everything bar maybe the individual stickers um, the earrings and the keyrings and the gift wrap and the card because they're not really bundle related um, but I just wanted to share that it is live and I appreciate and if you don't fancy anything or you can't afford to buy anything at this moment in time I really do appreciate any shares likes or comments on social media promoting the website and the launch anything and every little helps and I really do appreciate it but anyway back to the question so firstly I had the question of what medium did I use so I used a mixture of my Himi jelly gouache and a mixture of Winsor Newton um, student grade watercolours. Um, not the most expensive paints, but they did the job. And then I used this De La Roni mixed media paper in a three size. Um, and that's the mediums I used really. There's nothing special to it. And um, they all worked really well. The Hemi gouache probably was my predominant um, medium in the end. I think I didn't use the watercolours quite as much, but it worked out really well. They didn't muddy or anything, which was lovely. Um, next question was what paintbrushes did I use? So I, I got this question quite a lot and I think it's because I had this slightly bent very fine tipped paintbrush and that was a pro art artist paintbrush um, and I actually think it's my mum's old paintbrush from that she gave me when I was um, at school and it's the reason it's bent <laughs> is because I left it in a pot of water too long and it just misshape it just became misshapen and it just ended up being perfect and curved just to allow me to paint really well and I do know you can get paintbrushes that are bent um, specifically for this type of use I just recently got some from Mon Mar from TK Maxx um, and you can get them purposefully made that way but this was not uh, one of those <laughs> it was definitely user error for sure um, but it was it was really handy and really worthwhile. Now that paintbrush did me probably about half of this entire series and then I did go out and I did buy some new fine tipped paintbrushes just from Hobbycraft. They were De La Roni graduate um, paintbrushes so again nothing special, nothing really expensive for you to buy to achieve the fine details that I managed to achieve. So the next question is how long do they take? Okay, so this one, it obviously depended on the mushroom. Some of them were way more detailed than others. Um, but I would say probably one to two, maybe three hours if it was a very detailed mushroom and I was really trying to put my all and my most detailed work in there. Um, but yeah, just a couple of hours and they would be done. So it wouldn't it wouldn't take up an entire day, um, but it definitely, you definitely had to um, put some time Time into it. So the next question which um, is very apt to what is on screen there, what did I do and how did I find so many mushrooms to paint? So I actually really just skimmed the surface on every single mushroom that you can get out there. There's so so many mushrooms and to be honest I think I I definitely could have chosen more and more colourful ones um, but I started off looking on my free referencing sites like Pexels and Pixabay um, and I just typed in generic mushrooms as you saw there and I found the odd one there but again I was struggling to find loads and loads of variety um, a lot of them did end up being the fly agaric just because that is the most predominant mushroom that you see out there um, but I then ended up having to google like colourful mushrooms or 
UK mushrooms, American mushrooms, European mushrooms, you know, all that sort of thing. Finding the names of those mushrooms and then Googling them in the in the free referencing sites to try and find the mushrooms. Um, so it was quite a laborious task and I definitely had a big file full of different mushrooms. I then had to find the names of them so I wasn't duplicating the mushrooms, which was also a big thing. Um, and then in the end, I think after a couple of weeks of research, of filing and of printing out the references with the names and putting them in an order that I liked, that the colours were all spaced out enough so there weren't two blues next to each other as much as I could try, um, I then began the project of doing all the mushrooms um, that, at that point. And the final question is, could I do a rundown of all the mushrooms so far? So I will do the common names. I'm not going to attempt to do any of the binomial names because they are a bit of a tongue twister. I definitely had to train my tongue quite a lot to um, say those binomial names on my voiceovers of the videos. Um, but I will go in order as you would read a book, going left to right as you go down in the layers. Um, so day one is the fly agaric, day two the ghost fungus, Day three, the giant club fungus. Day four, the scaly wood mushroom. Day five, the golden scruff, uh, scruffy calibia. This, day six, porcelain fungus. Day seven, pink bonnet. Day eight, the morel mushroom. Day nine, verdigris agaric. Day ten, common puffball. Day eleven, parrot wax cap. Day twelve, candle snuff. Day thirteen, parasol mushroom. Day fourteen, field bluet. Day 15, Amethyst Deceiver. Day 16, Orange Pore Fungus. Day 17, Grooved Bonnet. Day 18, Rosy Vine Cap. Day 19, Sky Blue Mushroom. Day 20, The Shaggy Ink Cap. Day 21, The Chanterelle Waxy Cap. Day 22, The Stalked Scarlet Cup. Day 23, The Wood Mushroom. Day 24, The Felt Ringed Agaricus. Day 25, The Old Man of the Woods. Day 26, the Melanphilomum hematospinum. Day 27, the Flame Scale Cap. Day 28, the Violet Coral. Day 29, the Coprinosis Puchicarulia. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. Day 30, the Chanterelle. Day 31, the Scarlet Wax Cap. Day 32, the Sticky Bum. Day 33, the Bamboo Mushroom. Day 34, Gleophorus graminicola. Day 35, the mica cap. Day 36, the chalk white mushroom. Day 37, the gooseberry rustula. Day 38, dead man's fingers. Day 39, the white saddle. Day 40, the vomiting rustula. Day 41, the blackening wax cap. Day 42, the hexagonal pod polypore. Day 43, the orange mycena. Day 44, the pink tipped coral mushroom. Day 45, the shiitake. Day 46, Blue Round Head. Day 47, The Dryad Saddle. Day 48, The Merasmius Tagiticola. Day 49, The Oyster Mushroom. Day 50, The Rosy Bonnet. Day 51, The Black Trumpet. Day 52, The Fungral Bell. Day 53, The Bleeding Tooth. Day 54, The Mica, mica Fungus. Day 55, Entire Rustula. Day 56, the Poison Fire Coral. Day 57, the Indigo Milk Cap. Day 58, the Pink Oyster. Day 59, the Death Cap. Day 60, Deadly Dappling. Day 61, the Vermilion Wax Cap. Day 62, the Shaggy Scale Cap. Day 63, the Lilac Fiber Cap. Day 64, the Sathirella Piliformis. Day 65, the Larch Bullet. Day 66, the Splendid Wax Cap. Day 67, the Pixies Parasol. Day 68, the Honey Fungus. Day 69, the Mycena Chloroforus. Day 70, the Lion's Mane mushroom so that is all 70 mushrooms um, a quick overview and if you want to know more about their edibility or whether they are poisonous etc do go on to my shorts or reels on Instagram or my TikToks and you will get a day by day overview of what those mushrooms are and a little bit more in depth um, and a little bit of a talky about what they are um, but if you're happy just knowing the names then just stick with this video <laughs> um, but I'm really really pleased with this I loved every minute of doing these mushrooms I think there were a few times where I definitely um, had a few moments where I, I probably 
regretted doing so many. I think I could have done a lot less, but in the end I'm pleased I did so many because that just meant I had more mushrooms to play with in terms of products and design and variety for people who love mushrooms. It's not just your usual fly agaric and that's it, you know, there's, there's a really vast variety there. So as you can see here, I have been filming little snippets. The first few mushrooms I film a couple of clips for each mushroom and then as I was struggling to get these videos filmed um, for my reels, shorts and TikToks, I definitely just filmed a s short snippet of each mushroom. Um, but I think you get the gist of what I'm doing. You don't need to see every second of every filming part. Um, but a lot of people have been suggesting different uh, series to do in the future and I'm definitely writing them all down and it's stuff that I would really like to do and continue doing. I think it's great for doing launches and things if I do a little series here and there. I think my next launch will be cats and dogs, which will be interesting. Um, so just keep your eyes peeled for things about that, but that will be a little while coming because I need a bit of a break <laughs> from doing this mushroom stuff. Um, but if you are in the Leeds area, I do market stalls at the end of every month in Kirkstall Abbey and a lot of these products will also be available there. But like I say, if you are not in the area or are overseas, I do ship overseas as well. So do check out the website if you'd like to see any of the products that I have made. But for now, I'm going to leave that here. I will be doing a video to talk about kind of whether doing a video a day for short format was any good for my engagement and for orders and things to do with the shop. So I will be doing a video on that shortly. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with some music and the rest of these painted mushrooms. I hope you've enjoyed. Please hit that thumbs up if you have and leave a comment down below what your favorite mushroom out of the whole 70 are. Um, and please share, comment, like, anything you can. It really massively helps and I appreciate every one of you and I love you all. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.
All right, that is it all done. I can't tell you how happy I am that this is finally finished. And we have 70 mini mushrooms to make an abundance of amazing little products with. I have lots of ideas for this. I'm wanting to maybe do a washi tape, some to-do lists, pr a print of the whole lot, and then maybe some little categorized prints as well, something like that. Um, but a whole array of different products that I think I can make just from this artwork, but it has been a labor of love. I have definitely spent a long, long time doing all of these and there's been times where I've not wanted to sit down and paint these, um, but I'm really, really pleased that I've managed to get them done. So I hope you've really, really enjoyed watching this video. It has been a little bit choppy because a lot of this, this was filmed for reels, for um, Instagram, for TikTok and shorts for YouTube. So a lot of this was already filmed um, so I just kind of wanted to show little snippets of a few mushrooms here and there for this video, but I hope you've enjoyed and um, I'm really pleased with it and I hope you like it too. So products and launches will be announced maybe after I finish this clip or in the description below. So please keep an eye out. Follow me on Instagram at Lucy Locks Art if you want to see updates on all of this and um, that's it. So please hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment down below what's your favourite mushroom out of the lot. Um, and I'll see you soon for the next video.